allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a moment of silence, please. Here. Councilor Schneider. Here. Councilor Stickley. Here. Councilor Chamberlain. Yes. Councilor Stewart. Here. Councilor Fred. Here. All members are present. We have a quorum. Uh, council has had time to uh, go over and read the uh, prior meeting's minutes. We have a motion to accept these minutes. So moved. Who was that? Who is it? Second. Motion to approve the prior meeting's minutes moved by Councilor Fred and seconded by Councilor <coughs> Stickley. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. We have uh, no one here to speak in front of council today, but we do have a group over here that just wanted to be here to support our city uh, officials and ele elected officials and administration. So thank you very much, those thank of you from Oasis Church. We really appreciate that. Our pleasure. We need all the prayers we <laughs> <laughs> We Thank might you. need a little labor too. Not just <laughs> yeah, the parents, and the <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, let's move on to committee reports. We have finance. Uh, the finance committee met on Friday, March eighth at noon. Uh, members present were myself, Shane Chamberlain, and Jeff Stewart. Also, staff: Des Richardson, Jamie Jagger, Kevin Sickley, and Trudy Mankey. Uh, we were meeting to discuss the full prices for this coming season. Uh, Tom Burkholder had some recommendations and uh, he suggested we increase the family and daycare prices and uh, after some discussion Councilor Chamberlain suggested a $15 increase for each of the family passes inside city limits and outside and a $25 increase for the daycare. So inside went from $125 to $140 outside from 175 to 190 daycare went from 200 to 225 and Tom also suggested increasing the pool rental fees because of the added slide I was uh, curious as to if there was an additional cost because of more lifeguards needed to operate the second slide but uh, Dennis said there wasn't and so we suggested raising the pool rentals by $25 so if you do not use the slide, inside city limit goes from 100 to 125. Outside city limit is 150 to 175. Uh, if you use the slides, um, it would go inside city limit from 150 to 175. Outside the city limits 200 to 225. Um, and then Councillor Chamberlain had made a motion seconded by Council President Steers to authorize the above swimming pool increases. Uh, the daily rate of $3 and the individual season passes of 60 and 75 and swim lessons of 25 are not going to be increased this year. Um, Tom <coughs> also suggested um, <clears throat> closing the pool at 5.30 on Saturdays and adding a second rental time from 6 p.m. to 7.30 on Saturday, as well as the 7.45 to 9.15, because uh, my understanding is he's already got several parties lined up, so it's uh, become a popular item. Uh, Dennis said it's an automatic 50 cent increase for all returning lifeguards, and we also discussed the, the amount of money taken in and what was expended, and so it was a, a basic net loss of Sixty-four thousand five fifty-one, but that's less than normal, and uh, we want to keep it that way. We discuss kitty pool toys; they can run anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. There was nothing done on that. That was just a discussion. So, at there being no further business, the uh, committee adjourned at twelve twenty-five.
any questions on any of this agenda? You know, as funds allow it, I would like to be able to add those uh, amenities to the zero depth entry portion of the pool, you know, those toys. Uh, uh, we'll hopefully keep that in mind at budget time if there's funds available. Yeah. So. I think the big slide, uh, the second slide coming in was put on budget um, kind of late in the uh, program, but then, yeah, I agree with Shane that if we can budget that for next year or whatever, it'd be nice. And to let the public know that that's something that the pool is still, that that fund is still open to if anybody is looking to put money into the fund, they can for the pool. And those are things that we can keep getting is um, things for kids. That and like, we kind of uh, threw around the idea, I, just, I think it's, we need to increase periodically small increases in the way five years down the line, jump everything 100 bucks off. Right. You know, just right. to stay up with the cost mm -hmm. and allow us to put in those toys and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we need a motion for the Finance Committee. Minutes? I make a motion to accept the Finance Committee recommendation. <coughs> I'll second. Okay. Motion to accept the Finance Committee recommendations to increase the Wasium pool prices to by Councilor Chamberlain and seconded by Councilor Steerance. Is there any more discussion? Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor Steritz? Yes. Councilor Fry? Yes. Councilor Preston Steritz? Yes. Councilor Schneider? Yes. And Councilor Stigley? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Thank you. Now we just need another summer like last year. Capitalize it. Rick? Chair oh, Commission, Chair Commission. Oh, sorry. Who's that at? It was at Craig Commission. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> the other Rick. <laughs> sorry about that. Chair right. Commission. Chair Commission, Matt Island. March 13th, I was absent from that meeting, so I'm just going to kind of go off by putting it up for a minute. Um, Larry Fry kind of gave a report that uh, the city's working on uh, taking trees that have been scheduled to come down. Uh, there's been some uh, uh, looking into for new prices for the <coughs> memorial pavers, bricks uh, for trees that we planted as, as memorials. Um, Got some much better prices than what we have been paying. Um, at the Homecoming Hill Indian Homecoming Park Indian Hill uh, Park project, he reported that they're going to be cutting some uh, tree limbs that are hanging down over the edge of the woods uh, in the very near future. Um, Tree City USA Award Ceremony is going to be held on April 18th at. Crestline, Ohio. I think the majority of the three commission is going to be attending that. And uh, <coughs> plans are being made for the Arbor Grape Day program on April 26th at the primary and middle schools. Um, one's going to be at 10 30 and one's going to be at 1 o'clock. township fire contracts getting some things ironed out with uh, Clinton Township and uh, progressing that to Dover Township here shortly and uh, this is weather awareness week so you'll be getting an extra tornado siren pass this Wednesday morning at 9 50 that you'll hear thanks <laughs> appreciate the extra calls and uh, we have the EMS executive the annual meeting on the finances of the EMS contract with the county is this Wednesday evening that we'll uh, be attending so uh, that's all that I'll be attending that one as well. Thank you. Uh, Chief Tobin. Uh, just a couple of things. Our Coffee of the Cup is coming up at Big B this Wednesday, 8 to 9. It's also their 24th uh, birthday, so come out and celebrate Big B's birthday as well as. 24 years? Well, not out there. Well, no, I know, but I didn't realize they were yeah. out yeah. that long. That's what I was told. Right? Am I right, Brody, 24? And is correct. Uh, <laughs> also, April 24th, uh, Sully's, at eight, from 8 to 9, we will have a, another copy of the cup. They asked to do it at that date and time, so we're uh, willing to lunch. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, next week, we will be putting on a countywide domestic violence uh, law update for the uh, law enforcement officers in the county. And right now, we have about 25 people signed up for, for it. And hopefully, we will get a few more before that uh, comes about. I think that's about it, unless someone has questions for me. Where do you host that training seminar at? It's going to be at Rotary Park. We've got two sessions, one from 3 to 8 on the 28th, and then the 29th will be from 9 to 2. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you, Chief. Mm -hmm. Dennis. Okay. Uh, late last week, I believe it was Thursday or Friday, <coughs> I received an email packet from ODOT with the final things we need to do in order to participate in the paving of Shoe Avenue and Elm Street, a big project that's scheduled to sell here shortly. Um, it includes emergency legislation that you guys will see here <coughs> um, at your next meeting. Contract for the mayor to sign, again, <coughs> projected share, um, and instructions about how to go about all of that. Most everything has to have the same date on it. And there's a lot of regulations because number one, it's ODOT, and number two, some of the funds they're using and, and granting through us are federal funds, so we get more red tape. So just so that isn't a surprise for you, that'll be coming. I immediately forwarded it to uh, the packet to Jamie and Mr. McWaters. Um, so they're both going through it and aware of what we all need to do to get that done. Um, the electric aggregation advertisement is going to happen this week. Uh, you guys authorized that in previous legislation. Uh, then we have an appointment on Thursday uh, for the representative from Palmer Energy. She'll be bringing out the contracts for the successful bidder uh, for the mayor to sign. That has to be done on that day. Um, the Fulton County Economic Development uh, Committee is having their annual meeting. Uh, that will be held on Thursday, April 25th at Founders Hall. Uh, I believe the, the networking social hour, if you will, begins at 5 o'clock. Dinner is at 5.30. Um, as a member of that, uh, it would be nice if we could get a, a table full of folks to go. Our, our price as members is uh, 35 or $30 a, a head. It's $35 for non-members, but anybody from the city would be you know, considered a member. So uh, let me know that uh, Andrea or Kathy or whomever know if you want to attend that. It would be nice to, to have a full table for the city. <coughs> On uh, March 7th, um, I attended the annual meeting of the uh, Nordic Group, the Northwest Ohio Rails to Trails. Uh, Council of Pride was also in attendance at that meeting, updated them on things that we had done to the trail in the past 12 months, uh, including the, the LED flashing signs, which got rigged reviews from from the bicycle folks over there. Um, brought to them a, a couple of potential encroachment issues, uh, folks encroaching on the trail here and there. Um, I guess the biggest takeaway out of that meeting was that they would really like the city to uh, request of Norfolk and Southern that a proper crossing be placed over the main line <coughs> trail crosses uh, it's actually closer to road 11 than, than anything else I guess it's the best way to describe it um, they talked about a couple grant programs that might be applicable uh, to help with that but uh, talking about a lot of money so anyway they expressed that to us anything else of note no, he represented us quite well. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, um, let me 
that's it. That's the request. <coughs> Any questions? Yes. Jamie? Um, I've just been working on getting uh, gap reports to our gap accountants to put together a financial statements lately. Um, also wanted to make you aware the Ohio plan is putting on a servant leadership workshop for elected officials. If you are interested in that, um, it would be an evening program on April 16th. Um, let me know if you're interested in attending. What day is that? gave me nothing to pass along to the council. So I, and he's heading it. east it right now? It takes him a whole week to get ready for the either in or, in or on his way to New York. I don't know if he's there. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, thank you, Department Heads. We'll move on to legislation. First reading, resolution 2019-11, a resolution to amend ordinance 2018-17, annual appropriation ordinances by authorizing the director of finance to increase or decrease certain line account appropriations within the various funds listed within the year of 2019. Final reading. Motion to place resolution 2019-11 the final meeting is by Council Fry and seconded by Councilor Schneider. Is there any discussion? Councilor Fry? Yes. Councilor Schneider? Yes. Council President Steeritz? Yes. Councilor Stickley? Yes. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. And Councilor Steeritz. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Second reading legislation. Resolution 2019-10. Resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a water service agreement with Fulton County. Second reading. Second. Motion to place resolution 2019-10 on second reading moved by Council President Steritz and seconded by Councilor Chamberlain. Is there any discussion? Council President Steritz? Yes. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor Steritz? Yes. Councilor Fry? Yes. Councilor Schneider? Yes. And Councilor Stickley? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. We have nothing under third reading, so we'll move on to new business. And this is the one thing I forgot at the last meeting. Um, the City of Wauseon at the Chamber Gala uh, in February 16th, I think it was, um, honored us with the Wauseon Chamber of Go uh, Commerce Heartbeat Award. And this is for the pool, opening up the pool, the swimming pool, adding something to the uh, City of Wauseon and they felt it was um, a way to show their appreciation to the city and to all the citizens who helped make it possible that we have the pool. So we were able to, we got a trophy. So I thought that was pretty cool. We were able to receive that and to keep going with helping with the swimming pool. Um, let's see. You have a plaque that's still on the desk. We'll bring that out so people can see that before. It's put up. Do you know when that plaque's going to be uh, able to be put up? Because we wanted to have a ceremony for that as well. Did you not? We want to make sure that happens and coincide with public works so that people can do it too. And we'll talk to people for that. So it's here. And it's big and it's taking up a lot of room in her office. <laughs> so, okay, great. Um, let's see. I need a motion to accept uh, the appointments to the various boards and commissions. We have tree commission, Dan Nelson, our term for uh, ending in 12-31-21. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Motion to accept the mayor's appointments to the various boards and commissions moved by Councilor Stickley and seconded by Councilor President Stevens. Is there any discussion? Councilor Stickley? Yes. Council President Steers? Yes. Councilor Schneider? Yes. Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Councilor yes. Steers? Yes. Yes. Okay. And Councilor Fry? <laughs> yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. The Wasan Roll located at 340 West Leggett Street has new owners, has applied for a liquor license. If there are no objections, this would go through automatically. Thank you. 
discussion? Okay, and that will move forward. Anybody else have anything on the new business? Chief Sewer, just remind me again, when is that additional warning uh, for the tornado? When is that again? I believe it's 9.50 this Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. Yeah. Thank you. Just trying to reduce the number of calls for each. It's not supposed to storm on Wednesday, is it? I hope not. No. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing under new business also, um, uh, with the group out there, I want to thank them and commend them. They were one of the groups every Sunday that went out and watered the flowers um, for our downtown area. Uh, last uh, started in the first of May, they helped plant and um, started first of May and went all the way till the end of September, I think, or mid to end of September. That every Sunday they were taken care of, and it sure was very beneficial for us. So. Hopefully we can get some other groups to help out this year. I've had some people come forward too, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. And um, the other one was uh, first uh, triangular processing here on the corner. They did, uh, let's see, they did Thursdays? Thursdays. Thursdays or Fridays? They, no, Thursdays. So they were good. It, it, it worked out great and uh, the flowers stayed alive. So thank you very much for that. Okay, we don't have anything else on new business. Um, let's see, we need a motion to approve the bills. Second. Motion to approve and pay the bills is presented, moved by Councillor Schneider and seconded by Councillor Stickley. Is there any discussion? Councillor Schneider? Yes. Councillor Stickley? Yes. Councillor Chamberlain? Yes. Councillor Stewart? Yes. Councillor Fry? Yes. And Council President Stewart? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays, motion carries. Um, Shane has asked to go into an executive session. Shane? Yeah, I'd make a motion to enter an executive session to discuss personnel, the promotion, uh, discipline, or dismissal of an employee. I'd ask that Dennis Richardson, Jamie Jagir, Chief Torbett, and uh, Kevin Whitlock, along with the mayor and members of City Council, City 9, with uh, no plan of any action afterwards. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. Motion to enter into executive session moved by Councilor Chamberlain and seconded by Council President Stewart. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Councilor Chamberlain? Yes. Council President Stewart? Yes. Councilor Fry? Yes. Councilor Stewart? Yes. Councilor Stickley? Yes. And Councilor Schneider? Yes. Six yeas, zero nays. Motion 